Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play X4. So, um, just checking our space here. Uh, I noticed that if we check our research, we haven't been doing too good here. Um, well, it did. It got more of these guys here. Advanced electric, uh, I think those electronic circuits. And then energy cells still went off on the energy cells. So we need to fix that ourselves. So let's go ahead and take our, let's take our scout ship here. Let's turn on wares. And let's do the advanced electronics. Um, okay, there you go. I guess I'm thinking another game there was that... Uh, electric circuits that be factorial or even probably uh, Minecraft modded or something and then the other one was energy oh yeah energy uh, cells there you go and we just go to okay over here so we just need to buy them nearby so there you go uh, so we just need literally one I'm thinking of just buying literally one just for the fact that that's all I need and then I need these advanced ones so I need uh, 14 of them Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, just enough. Okay, and then what we can do is then right-click this and trade with build, or no, trade with the Grand Exchange. There we go. And I'm assuming that would fix it, right? I don't know, though. Let's try it again here, just in case. Trade with... Build and Grand Exchange. Yeah, transfer to Grand Exchange. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, no, that makes sense. And there you go. There you go. Confirm. Why is that guy not doing his thing, though? He's been a butt face. Why is he been a butt face, though? Behaviors. Undocking. Executing. Tri oh, he's just... Okay, no, he's going. He's just being a little slow. Okay. Um, talking about trading, I have uh, two trading ships now in total. Woo! I've been busy. So uh, they, they're going around right now. Let's check what they're up to here. So if we check his uh, information, behaviors here. Uh, this guy is almost done uh, doing his stuff. Uh, doc, doc, waiting, execute trade. So I should probably get him to do more. And then we got another one here. Uh, where we're going to behaviors and yeah, he's almost done as well. So I've named them uh, when I named them I wanted to make them like, you know, okay T for trader and uh, I, You know, I left them frog so you know what type it is I'll learn the types themselves that way maybe and plus the, the icon obviously But I thought um, I do pound zero zero one not that I'm planning to have a hundred plus traders, but maybe we will eventually. And that's what I was thinking. Like literally you'll probably want to do pound zero zero one and instead of pound one or pound zero one, because if you do pound one, for example, when you get to trader 11 or, or even 10, it would mess around with the one position, right? So it, it kind of would screw up your, your, your ordered list. So I thought, okay, let's go from zero zero one uh, and then that way, if we go up into basically 999 traders before our list would get mixed matched, uh, and I thought that would be the best way. So that's that's what I decided to do with that, and I left that as is so far. So I'm happy with that. I'll probably do the same with the scouts eventually, just clean them up and rename them. But uh, basically, all I've been doing with my traders is just, you know, I go ahead, I clear this out. And so far, I've been just doing this area here, which means we also work on the rep for the Terrans, right? So... Terran, and then I do us, Stone Legion, and I don't even bother doing the other ones because the trades for these guys are, are great uh, to start with anyways. It's all this protein paste, basically. Um, so if you check here, this one's good. This uh, Terran MREs, they do not go for anything. We got 72, 75. There's no, there's no profit in there, but uh, you can check other ones. Like here's Silicon Carbine. Look at that. Just a slight, actually, is that less? You'd get less for silicon carbine. Basically, most of the, look at that, you'd get less. Energy cells, okay, so you can do those a bit more. But overall, I just found them kind of useless. They're stimulants, uh, but stimulants are considered illegal. So you can see the stimulants are actually showing up down here. I'm actually surprised they're showing here. Oh, because they're, oh. Yeah, I don't understand with that because it's like legal, but it's illegal. Like it's, I guess, illegal to do it in their, sell it in their space, but it's legal to, anyways, if you check here, the stimulants, um, you're not going to sell a lot anyways. Uh, so if you want to stimulants and right click, they only do 50 of them. So it's like a one time you make a few bucks, which, hey, that's a lot of bucks, but it's not, it's so little and it's a waste of time. So basically I've been just doing, um, these guys here, the plant, the protein here, protein paste seems to be the best way to go right now. 55 credits and it sells for 118, um, that seems like a no-brainer. So uh, we did that last time, obviously, 
And uh, I've been just doing that since. I have not changed any other one since then. Now, obviously, eventually, I'm going to want to go and check out, uh, you know, go to different systems and do other trades and sales and things like that, obviously. But for now, to be fair, this has been my favorite one. And uh, well, look at this. We have 800 credits right now, plus whatever is tied up in trades. And it's working out well. So, like, you know, you can't really argue with the results when they're, they are honestly working out for us. So... Um, basically, this is all I do. I go this back and forth. Now, there's a repeat command, but I don't know how that works. I don't know if it would do exactly what we're doing and picking it like that, or if it would just repeat exactly the same location, as in it might, you know, be a bad deal at that point, you know, which you wouldn't want. So um, I'm just going to keep doing this way because this is the way I like doing it anyways, and I'm used to it. And uh, yeah, it works for me. So there you go. And eventually, you know, it, it won't become much of a, a good deal, but it lasts for quite a long time, to be fair. Um, and the funny thing is doing this over and over is actually slightly bad because the prices will slowly increase again. But because it's going in whatever order with the reservations, by the time you finish your last one, it might be worth like 115, but instead you're going to get 1991, right? And that's just uh, that's just how the system works, obviously, but we'll still make good uh, profits anyways. So there you go. It's a, a trickle cash, and for the little setup here, it works really well. And uh, yeah, well, look at that. We're at 800k, so I'm happy about that. I could buy a third trader now, but I thought we might try mining. Um, mining isn't going to be the best. Uh, I think the the best way is to do the Nvidium, 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 something like that. And the the best way to do that is around places like let's just hide the trade here for a second. The best place to do this, and let's get rid of you and you and you and there you go. The best place to do it is places that have trading stations that have ores. So um, you have to of course have the certain ores here. Now this one's going to be pitiful. I know that for a fact just because. Uh, well, look at it. it just has one set of uh, ore there. But if you were to go to check the Encyclopedia one so apparently i wish it would go right to it but anyway so there you go uh you can check the nvidium and it has 945 which is pitiful it's tiny amount but at the same time it, it's it is something and you can make a good buck off of it too i don't know if they'll even show them being sold here no i don't know how all this works this is the uh, highest trade offers i guess so i guess this is the highest you can't get more out of that or maybe there's a way but um yeah, so anyways, if you check the Nividium here, you go to this trade station, which whatever prices we saw when we originally went there, uh, trade offers, here we go. Uh, you can see that it will take the Nividium here for 543 credits each. So um, that is actually pretty darn good if you think about it. So uh, let's see how much you can hold in one of these things anyways. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm, I'm not spelling it right. I probably I'm spelling it completely wrong. Let's just go to Wares. There we go. Nvidium. No, that's not it. Well, we know how to spell it now. Nvidium. There you go. Is it a Wear then? Oh yeah, it is a consider Wear. I thought maybe the other Wear was like the the ones that go in your inventory. So average price is five hundred ten, and it's ten. Okay, so. Let's just do, let's just say if the inventory is 5,000, that would be uh, 500, right? So times 500, well, 500, 500. So if you were to sell that, 250 uh, bucks there, 250,000, uh, which is not too, too bad to be fair, but it's not going to be the best. I also want to show you about prices and how bad things have been going and where you need to buy your ships, where I, I did a mistake here originally, because I think we bought from here and I'm going to do it again, but I'm not going to actually buy it. Uh, let's do, we'll, we'll do the, the frog as our trader cause we, we like it anyway. So let's do it again here. I'll, I'll set this up even name wise. So it's there none. So you got your, your frog, right? And then you got your, uh, pound zero, zero, zero. We can do as a pre setup and then we can go, okay, let's go with the all train, you know, just the, the regular one here. This one, I've been going with the second shield to save some money. Um, I want to get the basic stuff of this. Um, I don't really know if the flares will ever help or do anything, but I put them in there anyways. I get the, it's for the crew, I get a pilot, I get a full service crew, 
And there you go. So this is going to cost us 517k. Depending on what they have in stock, things like that, it, it might, you know, work out. In fact, actually, it might not work out on this place right now because they're actually low on energy cells, apparently. So it's spitting out and crying at us. But um, uh, cheap uh, trade. Uh, yeah, trader, cheap. Ah, apparently I can't help in cheap today. There you go. Save is new. So 517, a little expensive. You add it to thing, confirm, right? 517. But one thing I forgot about this, and this was the same with the split vendetta people, which they are, oh hell, where are those guys anyways? They're up here, right? Somewhere, I think. Yeah, up here, I don't know. Um, is that the other faction, like the, the third, you know, usually it's like a more rebellious faction, whatever, not the main supreme, whatever tend to actually have prices a bit cheaper. So if we go down to this one here, to this wharf, and we go to buy ships here, this is where things are a little funnier. Let's go back to our courier here, the frog courier. And now we can do this really easy. There you go. We load it. 386K. Yes, you just saw it there. This is much, much, much cheaper to buy it here. And that's, that's a big deal. So I thought that was important to show that off. So... Uh, so let's build a miner anyway. So this is the Copus, the Copus, Copus, Copus. Uh, he is our miner today. Uh, we can get, uh, you want mining drills? And, uh, oh, there's a mining drill. Uh, huh. Sure. I really don't know if the mining drills will make a difference. It didn't in the past, but I think these days you're supposed to do it. So I'll add it in there. Um, but, yeah, it really wasn't a thing you really needed. It was kind of sad at one point, so... I'm hoping it is a thing now. Now, um, if you know a good spot where there's resources, like we put the resource probes, they will mine a bit better in that area and blah, blah, blah. But I don't think it's a, a must from what the devs are saying. Like they're saying you don't have to do that. It's just it will give it a higher priority to go there if there are better resources or it's denser at that time. But it sounded like it wasn't like a must-have thing. So um, that kind of sounds interesting anyway. So... Um, we can go over here, and uh, so it says, yeah, so you can say, uh, instead, we do M, I guess. So we can go M, and then uh, we do the same thing here, 0, 0, 0, and uh, yeah, let's save. And then we can say cheap, or I guess we did minor first, cheap. There's a gas version, so I thought, you know, we do M for minor and G for gas, probably. I might have to change the names later on anyways. I'm, I'm fine with whatever. So there we go. So there we go. 345K. So let's actually not order it. Just let's compare the prices again. Might as well. So let's go over here and uh, let's buy a ship. And it's just because some of the, like, the, the base prices of some stuff are just much cheaper. It's just the way it works. Uh, but here you go. And then minor cheap. So 404K. Actually, that's not a huge, huge difference, actually. Let's go back here, 404k, there we go, minor, cheap, oh, okay, actually, never mind, literally 100k cheaper, that was a pretty big deal, that's that's 25% off, basically, so, yeah, no, that's a pretty good deal, uh, now, keep in mind, now, I did check the other one, and I'm pretty sure because they're named the same ships, that it doesn't have an effect here, but, um, uh, there are sometimes different layouts per ship from one to another, but I think that's more for their bigger ships and things like that. So just don't expect like if there was a you know near equivalent large ships that one might have less than another and it might have worse stats and things like that. But it seemed like at least with the small ones we were pretty close to being about the same. But uh, don't you know hold me to that. You know what I mean? Um, I could be somewhat wrong and somewhat areas there but uh anyways let's go ahead and add that to our car and let's uh confirm order and there we go we will build our first uh mining ship here which will be cool so 51 seconds there awesome okay this is gonna be cool we're, we're starting to do an, an actual 4x kind of empire in a sense now so i'm excited for that uh, so we have 553k. So where I'm going to be bringing this guy is I'm going to make his home sector probably end over here, uh, which it does mean that we're going to get punished slightly. Oh my. Okay, it's just those guys. We might be fine because they're probably coming in somewhere else. Okay, I'm thinking we might be okay. Are you not doing anything? Oh, I guess you're finished your job. So 
Yeah, you can set like a default gr uh, option for scouts. So, for example, their default option is to go back home. I should, probably should consider doing that with the scouts, honestly, because uh, if they sit around there, they're going to get obviously hurt. So what you can do is go to information and behaviors, and their default uh, option would be to um, dock, basically. So dock and wait, and then destination, and then you can say Grand, Grand Exchange Headquarters, basically. Right-click, select. And that will be its, you know, default operation. So that way they're not sitting out in space. Make sure you confirm. And then there you go. So same thing again here. Um, so let's see. Grand Exchange. Is that the one I just did anyways? This one. Oh, no. We're going to send him over to his new destination. So his. We're going to go to information. We're going to go behavior. His is going to be mining, right? But we're going to do select auto mine. We're going to be doing the Nvidium. And then we're going to be going to the uh, that one sector we talked about, which I think you might be able to select it from here, but I'm not sure. Select. There you go. So, yeah, there you go. And that's the one with the Grand Exchange. Oh, nope, sorry. This one's the one. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it was number one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Okay. Um, so we got to actually re-click that. So just click that again. Right-click that. Select. So you can do it through the map without having going through the list. So there you go, Nvidium, this place, okay. And there you go, auto mine. And it doesn't require a pilot with any brains, it just requires zero stars. And the guy we got is one and one third stars, it looks like. <laughs> okay, so that's his default option. And then, uh, yeah, so all the other scouts, I guess you could probably do these all at once. I don't know if you can do that. Let's see here. Let's see. Um... No, it looks like you'd have to do one at a time. I think there's a way to copy, but I'm not even sure how that works if there is. Let's see here. Design, rename. There might be. I just don't know it. It's probably just easier to do them one by one and then just over time uh, clean it up myself. But anyways, behaviors. Uh, dock and... Oh, okay. So that was the one we did. That was scout rape. Okay. So maybe it's time to redo these ones too, huh? So let's let's call you... Number one, then. There you go. And then we don't have this problem. This guy's not really a scout, but I mean, he is because I'm probably not going to use him anyways. But uh, he, he's more of a heavy fighter, right? Small heavy fighter, though. Uh, so we go to the information here. There's probably a hot key to this. Uh, what are you doing anyways? Oh, you, you've been doing the scouting. I wonder what kind of items you've been getting. So he, he's out there and he's supposed to pick up any uh, lock, lock. I have finished the teleportation research. Oh. I am yet to test it on a life form. <laughs> Given that I am monitoring your life signs anyway, perhaps you could do the honors. There you go. We got him done. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, let's look at his uh, crew and then inventory, right? Where is that inventory? So he's got a micro motor and a needle. Okay, wow. That's actually kind of special. Anyways, let's, uh, since these guys are sitting doing nothing, let's go grab them anyways. Information, behavior. Uh, we're going to put you as dock then. Dock and wait. And then um, we want to make sure you get the Grand Exchange over here. There you go. And uh, right click and select. Confirm. Okay. I don't know which one we just did that to. I think that was this one here. So rename. Scout. Now, the only downside is I'm putting the number after it. So the only problem with this, I might want to change this after now I'm thinking about this, is it's going to put it out of order. Because if you want to keep the ship's name to like maybe learn and practice and whatever... I kind of just destroyed that for each time I'm doing that, right? So maybe I should be smarter and bring it at the front, not the back. Doesn't mean it pushes the name more, but uh, obviously you'd have less headache with uh, that. So maybe that's the way to do it. Oh. Hey, I try to keep this all the same, buddy. I like the little separation anyways. There you go. So here's this one, information, behavior. So we're going to go here, and we're going to do the dock and wait, and the default one will be the Grand Exchange. We'll confirm. There you go. And then we'll do the rename on this as well. So there you go. 
So S003, and then we can do that. And then this one, I don't think it would screw up. This is just the default behavior, so it'd still do whatever it's doing, I think. It's just, uh, yeah, dock and wait, grand exchange, confirm. Yes, it's still doing it. It's exploring. You didn't, you didn't interrupt it or anything. And there we go. And then we can go ahead and S and then 004. There you go. And I'll, I'll fix the other stuff after. Not really too bit worried about it. I guess I could fix this one. I thought I, oh, you know what? There's an option to name it, I think, when you do that. And I didn't bother with that. So um, let's do this M and then 001. There you go. I might as well do the trading ones now. There you go. That one's done. <laughs> See, you always learn little tricks, and you guys probably will come up with better ones, but this is what I like right now, and if I like a better one, I might change it, but that works for me. And you can do these, like, sub things, too, now. They have, like, civilian fleets you can do, sort of, but uh, I'm not a big fan on those. That is bothersome. I guess the M is bigger, like, text-wise, so it's throwing it off. I don't think there's anything you can do there. No. No, that's just how it is. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. So my uh, new miner should be slowly, I say slowly because these ships aren't fast, uh, making their way. Yeah, so he'll be making his way to the new destination. And then he should all just automatically mine. So that's it. We're, we're done with him. And then hopefully that works out for us. Uh, now, obviously, our grand exchange here. We finished our teleportation research here. So let's see how this works. So basically teleportation, you can just right click and teleport instead. Um, now this one's limited. I don't even know if you can go even one sector away or just within one sector, but uh, that's basically how it works. And we can just teleport to this one. Yeah. That's basically what it is. Teleportation, which eventually you can research it. So I could say, oh, I want to go and, you know, I have a ship over here. I'm going to do some exploring, whatever. I can just right click it and teleport to it. Like literally it'll say too far, obviously there. Uh, but maybe one system, but uh, that's why you're going to research it. You're going to expand that research and uh, might as well start on that now anyway. So there you go. You need all these guys here. So we'll just start that here. Go ahead, start the research. Could, please gather the required materials. And this will from within one system to three. And then this one will be three to five. So they're really low at first. And then finally you go to the whole universe, the whole galaxy, which this will make the biggest difference in the whole world, honestly, because then you don't have to worry anymore. You can just go wherever you want, in a sense, and it, it just, it really makes a big deal. Uh, so I can't wait for that. You are reminded that lottery tickets are available from all retail outlets in the station. Unfortunately, I don't think there is gambling in this game. That would be kind of fun. Um... If they have some sort of limit to it, though, because people would probably get too addicted and try to put, like, all their money in there, and then <laughs> they win or lose, and they probably would save scum, and it'd be pretty horrific, I'm sure, but, uh, hey, it would be really cool. So, okay, we, we did that. Now, we have a mission that we're going to do. I guess we'll save that for next time, because it's nice to start those right at the beginning of an episode, but we had that one mission going. I would say at this point, the best thing to do is maybe look into gas mining, um, so if you look in a certain area for resources, like this is asteroid belt, right? Everyone's mining here, but let's just see what the, what's what's in the system here. So if we go to, uh, I guess we're selecting something. There we go. Show mission. Oh, okay. Cyclopedia. I didn't know you can do that and get the mission. Um, so if you see here, hydrogen is a one that's sold a lot here. And hydrogen is actually, uh, is hydrogen? Yeah, it's a resource here. So do you get hydrogen... Can you mine Warning. hydrogen directly? Explosive materials can be hazardous. Maybe. Please contact the dock master if you have any on board. But hydrogen is one of the top resources. Actually, silicon is pretty good here too. Uh, and ore is a little lower. So silicon, silicon mining would actually not be a bad idea. So what you could do is check the region for silicon too to see, okay, is it worth selling? Now, actually, no, you're going to only be able to sell it within the system, actually. Now I think about it. Um, because we don't have that kind of mining yet. So I'm pretty sure that's how it works, unfortunately. So you can only, 
yeah, let's see. Um, or I think that's all the only way you can do it. I could be wrong, but I think you have to have it within the system to sell it in. So silicon. So you're looking for somebody who would buy, right? And then um, let's just do that for now. Okay. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Not those ones. And it's another area anyways. We wanted these guys here. Sold wares, bought wares. Not buying them, huh? Oh, no, you do buy silicon. That's because you picked the wrong silicon, you idiot. Okay, that's why. So silicon, silicon, like literally just silicon. There we go. You're not buying them though. No, you are buying them. Why? Why is it grayed out though? Oh, is it grayed out? Oh, I know why it's grayed out because I have this on. Um, solid. There you go. <laughs> my mistake i forgot i grade those out so if i remove these will they do them anyways okay hydrogen and okay so this is good they will buy hydrogen uh ore and silicon and they're actually on high demand as well so i could do mining in here now mining obviously here would be a little harder in this system they have a lot of miners in here but it's not as bad as i thought so they also uh, do methane but that's not really a good deal but hydrogen not too bad. So you could do two different miners there. One for silicon and one for, well, maybe hydrogen. That would break it up. You get two different ones there. So, uh, yeah, let's let's look into that anyways. Why not? So let's go buy a ship here. And small again. And uh, this time we're going to go for the miner. You don't have, I guess there's no small gas one. Or maybe they don't sell a small gas one. So, and miner cheap. There you go. And uh, rename. Oh, yeah, you can say rename. There you go. So, um, we'll do minor 002. Boom, boom. There you go. On that way, can we give them pre future orders? No, you have to wait the, the one minute. But that way, anyways, we can uh, use that. So that, that should be good. And we get him to mine the uh, silicon in there. So it'll be another passive income. Like I said, you're not going to get a ton. They've nerfed it quite a bit. But even one single ship shouldn't be like horrifying like bad. But I think that's kind of. To visit our special sales area close to the casino. I think that's kind of the, the, the point, though, with the nerf, though. It's, it's not more like. You, it nerfed it for using 50 of them in a sector. It nerfed it because, like, if you had, like, two or 300 of them mining, they, they were basically constantly getting unlimited ore, and it was simple. Now, because of the nerf, even one guy might be nerfed because he's, you know, finding little tiny amounts each time. So he's running around, not finding the ores, being a little delayed and slow, and then eventually he'll find it, right? But it affects not just one ship, but also affects having 200 in a system. And that's kind of the problem with the new system is it didn't really just get nerfed one way. It got nerfed two ways. So having more ships still kind of wins because, you, you know, at least they'll be spread out hopefully more trying to pick up those materials. Though it's not efficient, but then just having one ship as well might not really be that efficient either. You, you get the idea? So it's a, it's a very, um, you know, not a fun system overall. Every, everyone loses basically, uh, in my opinion. But uh, anyways, it is what it is. So, uh, so we go ahead and we'll go and get uh, the Miner 2 here. Um, yeah, you're not supposed to write... I, I guess I got it over excited here. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. There we go. I guess one of my ships are coming back here. Okay, so we're going to go here. And you should be able to mine just like this. There you go, silicon. So they actually have a built-in option anyway, so that's actually really cool. So it shows you what to mine here, right? So... I know for a fact they have another material over in this other one. I wonder if it's built like that. So if I tell them to mine here. Please check your cargo is secured before departure. Oh, that's that's frightening when it says there's no resources at all. Um, well, we know there's something in here, but uh, yeah, that is, that is a bit frightening because it says right here there, there's some of that, but 
Maybe it's really low, huh? Oh gosh. Um, anyways, that should work. And then later on, like for even just for Nvidia, for example, what you can do is find a really good place that has a lot of Nvidia. So you, you search somewhere in the in the universe that has a lot of Nvidia. Um, so there is, let's see here, there was one place here I thought had a lot. The void here. Okay. So you go to the void here, which uh, the void is a pretty scary place to be fair. Um, and you can see all of its materials in here. Oh, look at Nvidia has quite a bit here too, 7K. Um, or sorry, 7, 15K. <laughs> actually, that's a really good one. Uh, or in silicon is actually not as good as I thought it would be. But anyways, you just use this as an example, right? Nvidia 15K. And so let's just say, okay, pretty good place. I'll set up a base there. And then what you can do is, so you have your base there. And then what you can do is have your ships actually trade from that so basically what you do is you have the the miners work at that station and mine in that system for the materials and then you have actual traders that go from there and then sell them off to different places so you could set a route to you know the different trade stations that would accept the Nvidia. so Nvidia is like one of these components that are we used at trade stations an and it's RMU like um i actually don't even know what it's for but but it's like more of a useless kind of material that only the trade centers use themselves. So um, that's that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much all I have here. I mean, now we're kind of poor because they've been taking all our resources here a bit. Um, I would like to try to. This is my good ship, right? I would like to okay. see if I can find some stuff. We, we talked about this before, scanning uh, station uh, stations and stuff. I thought maybe we'll do that for a couple minutes here. Gives us something to do here. Whoa. I guess I lost my speed and I kind of lost my controls and I'm just bad at flying. There you go. Okay, so there's a station over here, obviously. Docking granted. Docking aborted. There you go. Ship technology factory. So we can go into the scan mode here. And uh, so, oops, yeah, it's in scan mode. So this is just like, okay, I'm going to scan the station, whatever. So uh, you can see that we've, uh, how much is this scan so far? Not much. Oh, let's kill Civilian this guy. Civilian ship D. There we go. Ship technology factory. So when you scan these ships, and this is kind of a bit of a hit and miss, you can find these radio signals basically. And I'm trying to actually find. Actually, that's one of them, isn't it? That's something else, though, I think. I heard it, though. Where was it? It's over here, isn't it? Where are you? I know that's one of the signal sounds that you can go to. But I don't think that's the leak one. Hear it? Thanks I don't see it. Got it. There it is. I had to wait for the flash happen. Okay. So what did we get there? Production change, medium, blah blah blah. So discounted on locked. Oh, that's cool. I wasn't what I was looking for, but uh, hey, sure, I'll take a discount. Oh, there's another one somewhere around here. There it is. That was the communication thing. I think this is the one that might give you a mission. Yeah. There you go. I'm glad you found my signal. So we'll see here. I need a fast ship and a good pile to get me anywhere from the station quickly, blah blah blah. Oh, that's a boring one. I mean, sure, I guess I could do that anyways, but it wasn't what I was looking for, but... Mission interrupted. New mission activated. I don't even know if I have room. I might need to fire somebody off of my ship to be serious. I can do that, though. I, I thought I kept one space on this, but I might have filled it in anyways for fun, so... Okay, let's see here. Um, I 
Okay. So information crew. One marine, one recruit, and then you have the pi. Okay, no, we have a crew capacity. Good. I feel bad if I had a second crew member because uh, even though you can kick them out when you want to do a mission, it feels bad just because hey, he has some stats or something to it, and I didn't want that to happen. So I don't have to worry about this. So we can go and get this guy. Now these are just regular missions, anyways. Usually a taxi ones, but for hello. Some, from some reason, this one is uh, like this. So there you go. And oh yeah, the teleportation. Here's a good example of that teleportation now. It's like, ah, oh, you know what? You're annoying me. Let me go over here. Maybe I have some items I want to deposit, whatever. So now I can go ahead and uh, I'm on our, our main station here. Our station. And uh, I can go to the science lab, blah, blah, blah. So that, that's, like, that's kind of the neat part about the teleportation. And then obviously later on when you unlock more, you'll be able to go further and further, which... I don't even know if I have anything on here. I got the seminars on me. Yeah, that was it. But anyway, so we can go back here now, obviously, and then we can teleport. Help me! They're gonna take me away. Oh. Okay. Okay, so he's aboard us apparently. And there you go. So we can go ahead and undock. Oh, well, I guess I hit something there. What is going on here? There you go. My steering feels worse lately. <laughs> and then we just have to go to this other station and obviously dock there and let him off. But anyway, so what you can do is you just keep scanning and that's kind of what I was doing and eventually you'll, you'll, you'll get one. But uh, you get one eventually where somebody will be like, who I want to buy, you know, those... Uh, uh, the 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 egg uh, caviar blah 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 and they'll pay you pretty damn good that's that that's the thing they might give you two three four million and then that alone is a huge you know okay now I can buy like ten traders in the set so it's like okay thank you but a uh, good way to earn rep too obviously but So I'll probably do that off camera because I've been just sitting there doing pretty much nothing for most of my day, which is kind of sad. So what I'll probably do is instead of just doing that, go ahead and actually uh, do some just random missions, you know, fly around, pick up some missions, things like that, and just earn some other cash. But also you're earning a bit of rep and then just build up our, our trading a bit more. Maybe another, you know, couple miners, things like that. But, you know, now we've done the basics on that, I can do that. So that's a that's a big Stop part of it, planted. right? Also getting enough credits to do that. Because a lot of people might have done that earlier on, but I like to earn a bit more credits before I do that. I really should get the level two uh, thing docking here. I've been lazy, there you go. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, I heard another one. Didn't even sound that far. More on the right over here. More on the right a bit more. Still on the right. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Are you interested in the job? There you go. Let's see here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, mission given. Oh, so these are the those guys. Board or ship matching? Yes. I'm not going to do this because this is where you get in trouble. Obviously, I don't want to do those ones. But uh, look at that. They'll give you 1.5 mil. So, this is a pirate mission. But that's kind of what I'm looking for, obviously. But one that, uh, one that would pay <laughs> uh, for my caviar. By the way, doing this and flying around also gives you information about the sh uh, stations. 
So like when you scan their your you know their cargo and stuff like that, then you you've unlocked the ability to see like what items they have in their storage things like this. So this is actually really important for things like wharfs and stuff like that. So when you're building a ship, you can see like what items are low, and even if you're deciding, you know, over time, oh, I want to build a, a station or something, or uh, you know maybe start a new trade line, whatever. What what products will these guys need more of? And it's a good way for doing that as well, so. I did hear something more over here, but then I seem to have lost it, so. I hope he's not trying to take us to the other one again. To be honest, it might. We're pretty close to that, I guess. Yeah. What a butt. I hear two different ones now. Oh, here's one. found my signal that's cool it's like a marine outfit or whatever pick up so this is just another one you know same idea I'm actually I didn't even know those were in there that must I don't know if that's a newer thing or not but apparently there's another one over here there it is it's in here but you get close enough it still works I think oh supply bottleneck offered veil blah, 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 for 40 hours so that's just basically what more uh, more cheap prices or something like that I'm guessing but yeah it's fun to do that anyways is there more on here because the other ones if you just accept that you don't accept them I think they still do their little sparkle thing so more than likely I'm just getting influenced by those ones, so it just it'll throw me off these you know. They'll probably throw me off. You know, hearing nothing there. Electronics factory. But it's fun, anyways. Something to do. There's other missions around here, apparently. Or is this one of the... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the boarding. and What's this one here? Find hydrogen. Those ones are usually a little boring, but they can be okay. Mass transporter. Might be useful for me. Mass transporter F. See, this is, this is the transportation. See, this is between two stations, which is really cool. So this is why you can find the... There you go. Claytronics factory. heard it. Heard it again over here somewhere. Thanks for your help. Oh, there's one here. There's another one I'm hearing too somewhere. This sounds like a pirate one too. Are you interested in a job? There you go. So kill. This is a kill one. Target ship type. Venture sentinel. So this is a criminal activity. <laughs> but there you go. Another another type mission like that, which is kind of cool. 
So lots of little pirate ones like that. You just have to spend a little extra time doing that. I don't know later on if you unlock and do a bunch of pirate stuff, if there's other ways to kind of maybe get them a little easier, but... I mean, then again, pirating is pirating, right? So you just go and do it yourself, but... A lot of people make a good buck doing that. Oh, here's something here. This is the hacking stuff at this point, right? There you go. So, yeah, there you go. Commission unlocked. Cool. Well, there you have it, my friends. I thought that would be kind of fun to show you that stuff anyway. So, uh, I'll probably just do, like, pretty much regular missions off camera. Um, I'm hoping to earn a bit more and then get just more traders and things like that going. And that way we can uh, make some more from that, some miners, things like that. And then uh, we'll go from there. We'll probably continue our one mission. And then uh, eventually I'll, I'll feel like we're earning a bit of good dough. I'll buy myself a, a decent little up ship, you know, uh, so we can uh, do the missions a little easier too over time. But I've been kind of taking my time on that too. I'm not in a rush, so... I've been happy with my little ship, but obviously we're supposed to change our ships over time. Here's one more. We'll do that last one here. Another pirate one. Here we go. Uh, sabotage some turrets here. So, um, my associate looking from blah blah blah. Distract so fancy enough to make it look right. Blah, 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 blah. Sabotage defense. This one, oddly enough, does not actually tell you that you get bad reps so I guess this one you could do without earning bad rep that's interesting unfortunately this will probably take me far away to sectors of unknown oh yeah Argon space is there a time limit on this no there isn't okay so something I'll just sit there and then hold on to another time. So that's not a bad idea. I can get some of these for that over time. Um, let's hide the trading stuff here. I see a mission somewhere here. Oh, here it is. I knew that was going to happen. Attack a global uh, collect a heirloom. That doesn't sound like a warning. Yeah, retrieve item you likely have. Yeah, so we don't want that. Okay, my friends. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. All that fun stuff. And uh, we will tour see bus. wonderful people next time. A tour bus. So it's a criminal, but is there like one criminal on that? And I killed like a whole tour bus of people. Anyways, we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.